Hey guys, and welcome to my cooking channel, Cooking with Anjaka. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is the thing, this is the Instant Pot, and the Instant Pot is fantastic um, because you can do all these things. You can do uh, pressure cook, soup broth, meat stew, bean, chili, cake, eggs, yogurt, um, porridge, rice, all these things. And so right now what I have in there is ground meat. I have sauteed some garlic and some onions and some sofrito in there. I also added some oregano. And so I added also um, some prego sauce. I love prego sauce better than um, ragu because it's just a bit thicker. It has more substance to it. And I added some water and I put the spaghettis in there as well. So it's like a one pot meal. I'm putting the lid on and it does that little sound. And now I'm going to pick pressure cook. That's the one that I usually use is pressure cook. So I can set my own time and I'm gonna put it at nine minutes. So think about it, nine minutes. Usually I saute my meat but, and I, I leave it there for uh, maybe a good 30 minutes. Um, and then I boil my water, at, at, you know, right next to it. And it's just, you know, this is going to be interesting. So this is my first time doing this. Let's see how it goes. It's going to warm up to that pressure cooking, uh, you know, heat. And then it's going to cook for nine minutes. And then um, it's going to let me know that it's done. It's going to go dee, dee, dee. And then um, I'm going to press that button right here, right here. And it's going to release all that pressure. And then it's gonna let me know that it's safe to open it um, because all that pressure is out. And so let's see how it comes out. But I cooked rice in here and the rice is perfect after 12 minutes. I've also cooked uh, beef stew, which beef stew usually, we have to cook it in the crock, in the actual pot, in the in caldero, because if not, it doesn't come out the way it should come out, which is, um, I'm sorry, I cook it in the caldero and it comes out better if you heat it up for like two hours, right? Because then the meat comes out tender and the potatoes are soft. Um, I put the potatoes like maybe half an hour before it's done cooking. And then in the in, in the uh, crock pot, it comes out watery. It doesn't taste really good um, because it's just, it, the meat is tender, but it's like too tender. It's like dry in a sense. And so this is perfect. This is like almost cooking it in the caldero. So let's try it. Let's see how it happens. Thank you for watching. All right, so here we have the end result. Look at that. And it's spaghetti and ground meat. And it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. 